A little quick review of what we did last time where we left off. Uh, we joined Can, Roy, That's What, and Throbby just outside the Red Troubleshooter debriefing room adjacent to the I-812 cafeteria where you see smoke bellowing out from burning vending machines. There are still disembodied bodies of the delivery food delivery personnel and goons from the internal security team. Their, their blood and, and body parts were scattered about the cafeteria. But luckily on the far side of the cafeteria, near the lower level, the seafood buffet still made it through unscathed. Uh, just to clarify, that is the seafood bu buffet, not that's the A food buffet, B food buffet, and this being the seafood uh, buffet, seafood. which is what's usually served in buffets already. So you get a good idea of what that means. Food that starts with C or C level food. I mean, it's food <laughs> C, to start with C could be it's fun. It's not C level food there because is that no would just be stuff that floating, floating on the surface. That'd be so annoying to eat, yeah. Can you say the name of the cafeteria again? I, I need to enjoy that again. Uh, it's the I-812 cafeteria. I-812, okay. <laughs> yeah, so the there are some citizens that have been uh, filtering in as you guys stand outside the room, and you can hear them talking and pointing, you know, at the, at the bodies and the smoke, and some of them are contacting the PLC, that's the Production Logistics and Commissary Division, to uh, send some scrub bots so they can clean up the bloods and chunks of meat so they can enjoy their their buffet. Um, so while you're while you're out there, you have seen that the uh, scrub bot has the body of the Blue Level Internal Security Senior Evidence Auditor uh, leaving be gone, and he is dead in the back of the scrub bot's uh, big messy thing holder, and you. Also, know that you have uh, to deliver deliver the relics to Gonna Be Good, who needs the relics of heroic action delivered to warehouse 749921 hours ago. And if they don't get delivered soon, it will be de the uh, evidence or the uh, um, relics will be reported as stolen by traitors. Right now, the corridor is quiet. And you stand there with the scrub bot, the dead security officer, and you're holding a paperclip, which could be either evidence or a relic of heroic action. Either way, doesn't look good for you guys. What would you like to do? I have a question about clones. Yeah. So this guy, for him to get cloned, does his death mm -hmm. need to be reported, basically? Like, if no one knows this clone has died, another one won't be decanted, so to speak. Uh, he will be decanted if he still has a clone, but he can go... So is it on, uh, it's automatic? Could... Yes. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, that's bad. Can, hotwire this. Hotwire this bot. Let's get on it. Get to the warehouse. It's, it's good thinking, TR. Let, let's, let's do this. I'm going to try and take the scrub bot and see if I can juice it up. Make it go faster. Well, so you want to modify this scrub bot. You're going to have to get in, sort of pull the uh, the side panel off and sort of reprogram it a little bit um, and and change it from what its regular function would be to more of a driving function is what you want to do. You want to, you want to speed this thing up and drive it somehow? Yes. Okay, so I think you need you to give me a program. Let's see, programming and brains. How about that? Yeah, that works good. That's five dice. You know, you've never, of course, you've never reprogrammed a scrub bot before because messing with the scrub bot programming would be treason. So we know that you've never done this before. Correct. Therefore, I, I'm going to set the difficulty level to, let's do a three. Three is, is difficult. So it's not going to be easy, but you'll be able to, you've got some pretty good um, capabilities there. Okay. I need a five or a six. Yes. I rolled a one. Do you have any other equipment you want to util utilize uh, that you might have that would help? Mm, 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 mm. No. No, I do not. And Does anybody else uh, want to help in this? That might, maybe they have something they could give you that would help or offer some suggestions that might uh, actually give you more dice to roll. Any help would be much appreciated. Yeah, I would like. 
I think I will use one of my action cards. Okay. It's called I'm Thinking. And I draw three action cards. I choose one, then I pass another to a player of my choice. And I place a third one on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So you're going to draw three? Yeah. All right. I will we'll have to take a second and look at this. But the three cards that you draw are called Safety First, Up High, and Risky Trick. I feel like I can't win this game. Because if I help you, that's good. But if I don't help you, that's good. Because you're performing treason. Don't think you win this game. I don't think any of us I will win, win this game. <laughs> I don't think there is a winner. If, if you survive without burning through all your clones, you win. <laughs> I already got three treason stars. I feel like I wouldn't help you because that's treason. But also, what else would I do? I don't know. You can help each other. If it's to your benefit, more than but likely, But she's yeah. doing something treasonous. Yeah, you're right. You can do things about that if you want to. But I I wasted my moxie last time, and I got the stars. <laughs> well, I mean, you you could... You don't have to... You don't have to turn her into friend computer. You could shoot her. Oh! That's you true. can do anything you want. That's true, too. But doesn't her mm. red level gun not shoot through my red level uniform? Red will shoot red. I thought red, red doesn't shoot. Red shoots red. That's why it's red. Well, if you did, where did you read that? I don't remember. It's, I didn't see it anywhere. I thought only in the higher block. level could shoot. You, higher level can shoot down and, and level to level, right? I can't shoot up, but I can shoot equal, right? I thought. That's I how I wrong. killed a guy. I could be wrong. I thought it was just down. Well, in this particular game, unless we want to look it up, Reds can shoot reds, and anything that will make it more down. fun. <laughs> I was pretty sure that was the case. I think it is, but that's okay. We'll do it. So, did you get a chance to look at those? Or are you still? So looking? yes, I'm going to give Emily um, safety first. Okay. And by Emily, I mean not Emily. <laughs> that's what. No, can. Can. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give Can safety first, and I am going to take risky trick. Okay. And you're going to give that's what... And up high goes to the bottom of the deck. All right. So safety first. You notice a piece of safety equipment that's useful to the action. GM has veto of your description. The item adds plus one dice so long as it's useful and intact. If the GM is particularly pleased by your description, it adds plus two dice this round and one dice thereafter. What'd you find? I found... A paper clip. <laughs> Legitimately. Oh. That could be helpful. One of these smaller bots got destroyed in all the melee, so only its motor is left, so I found its motor that I can add to the bigger bot to make it go faster. Interesting. Yeah, I like that. Uh, you get two additional die. Sweet. Can I re-roll the other dice that I rolled? Re-roll the whole thing because you you prematurely rolled before we were done. Thank so. goodness, because I had all done ones yeah, and yeah, Premature yeah. roll radiation. That's is, uh... what she said. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a much better roll. That is uh, two sixes and a five. Ow, ow. That does it. You just need three successes and that, that you open the side up. Um, with the little uh, spinny screws that pulls it off and you look at it for a minute and you realize that, hey, you can use this other motor to be able to, to put into the scrub bot and really significantly speed it up. And you rewire a few things and the, the scrubbing things stop spinning so and they lift up so you don't have to worry about those. So now you think you can get, probably get a, a fair pace out of these thing, out of this thing. It's, it's going to be difficult to climb on. You're all going to have to sort of hold on to the uh, any places where you might be able to grasp your hands. There's not a very good foot holding, but um, you think you might be able to pull the, the wires out and, and snap things together, put them together a little bit to be able to control the speed and a little bit of the steering. It's not going to be uh, whoever's driving it, you're going to have to explain that to. Do you want to drive it? Yeah, I'll drive it. Since I hobbled it together, I will uh, take control of it. I would like to jump in the back with the dead guy and investigate. Can I actually, uh, sorry, before you do that, can I actually play an action card? Uh, yes, you can. <laughs> I would like to play an action card called Collateral Damage. Is it a reaction card? Does it have a little arrow on it? Oh, it does. 
It does, yeah. Okay, so you're you're going to react to... Okay, go ahead and tell me what you want to so, do. So, collateral damage. An object is damaged as a side effect of the action. Try to persuade your GM what was damaged and see if they listen to you. Good luck. So, I would like the dead body to be sucked into the overcharged mechanisms of this thing and get kind of chewed up a little bit. You know, maybe like a okay. sleeve of a, the, the their coveralls get pulled in and they get maimed and just the body kind of just gets, you know, ripped up. That doesn't up, sound very hygienic. Ripped up a little bit. Mr. Hygiene Officer. So it's unrecognizable as to who it well, is? Well, mm, ideally, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I like it. <laughs> but also can uh, also mutilate a dead body. So maybe that'll bite her in the ass later on, too. <laughs> So you can asshole. can uh, <laughs> even though she's pretty skilled reprogramming this thing as she's as she's putting things together, you know that's sort of moving forward and and left and right, and as she's as she's trying to determine where the wires go, the the uh, the basket in the back sort of empties out as one of the uh, one of the scrub bot mechanisms, and then she backs it over uh, the body and the the trash that it's picked up. Oops again. And as she. As she quickly tries to move it forward again, because she realized she just went over this dead body and is crushing it, she she clicks it and turns on the the uh, internal um, scrub bot <laughs> rotisserie and <laughs> arms, <laughs> fingers, and this guts sort of come out from underneath of it as she sort of looks around like uh, and whistles a bit. Okay, let's hop on. Let's get going. Let's get out of here. <laughs> As fast as we can, let's go. Roy, um, Roy looks very visibly like appalled, maybe, um, and shocked at what has just happened. So that's that's what I'm sorry. Before before the body got tri- when it got dumped out, you had a mo- moment you could look at it before it was crushed, and you see it looks like uh, it was beaten. Uh, it was like by a hammer sawed by a saw and maybe drilled by a drill. A drill? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry, go ahead, Roy. What were you saying? Good thing I didn't almost cover up all that evidence. <laughs> He's <laughs> appalled. Well, o- o- only uh, that's what saw that. Okay. Yeah, okay, girl. so I didn't, Roy didn't notice. No. Only that's what saw the I mean, the, you the would see that, that this body just got mutilated. I yeah, know you, who you the body that belonged part. to be, before it got um, sucked into the, the scrubber bot. Yeah. Well, okay. I wanted to investigate, but I guess as I see this body churn in the meat grinder, uh, I still jump into the back looking for evidence, and it makes a big squish. Okay, you you, you jump in the back of the scrub bot? Yeah, so I the, jump in, in the, the back where the, where the body's at, yeah. Okay, yeah, so you're over there looking at it, you, you see, and you're going, oh my god, this looks terrible, and you, you sort of climb into the basket area, and it backs over top of the body, and the blood squirts out all from underneath. Yeah. And uh, so you're sitting in the basket, okay? Yeah, yeah, close to being squished myself, but it's fine. Despite being appalled by what just happened, Roy's, Roy's still going to carry on with the plan, and, and he's going to try and find a spot to to get on top of this thing so we can get to where the trucks went. But he's he's looking over at at Can and is is kind of giving her a, a very suspicious look. <laughs> Can you have a way with machines. I like it. Let's go. Yes, let, yeah, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so Can you can climb up on top of the scrub bot, sort of lay down and there's enough wire that comes up to you the makeshift controls that you've put together where if you sort of if somebody grabs onto the basket on the back and maybe your leg up on top, they can sort of a leg on each side. You can all sort of hold each other. As long as you don't go too crazy and, and make too many quick turns, you all shouldn't slide off to your death. Oh, good to know. <laughs> okay. So you guys are starting to get on top of this thing. And um, as you climb up on top and, and bring your little circuit board control up, uh, up on your heads up display pops, going to be... Uh, where are you? Why aren't you at the warehouse? We're, we're coming. We're coming right now. You you can't be coming because my trucks are headed along the B7, B578 conduit. Where the hell are you guys? You should be with the trucks coming to the warehouse. You know, um, 
we will be on the B578 conduit like momentarily, and I, I'm sure we'll catch up in no time. Why is the transport not with the trucks? You should be with the trucks! Well, um, there, there was a bit of a commotion. Uh, it, it, it's a long story. That I haven't got time for boring. commotion. It won't even respond to the navigational overrides. What is wrong with the trucks? Where are the trucks? Why are you not there? Well, it, it it's... We'll be there very soon, I'm, I'm sure. Just just give us a little bit longer. What are you going to do? Um, we, I think we'd like to try and head, if we're aware of where that B, B578 conduit is, we want to try and speed off towards that. So you guys have the capability in your uh, cerebral cortex to pull up maps and be able to surmise where you might think you might be. Okay. Does anybody want to do that? I have a plus four in my alpha complex. Do you want me to try and pull up the map? And I got a we plus are? five, son. Well, it's all Let's you go. then. Go for it. What am I doing? <laughs> Finding out where the B578 conduit is and directing us that way. Can. Yeah. I know where I know where to go. So you, you open up on your eyeball display. You can all look at the eyeball display, but being only of red security level, you see very little. Every, most of everything's blacked out. But there are some small roads and some uh, uh, buildings that are not blocked out that you are aware of. And you do see a small portion, uh, sort of like the fog of war type of feel, right? You see little spots around uh, where you can see things going through. And you do see the B578 sort of passes close to uh, Barracks 4XAF, which rings a bell to you as the, the place where the uh, boxes originally came from. You also see a small uh, site that says uh, Bravo 19. And you also can see where the warehouse is located where you were supposed to be going. So you all know that you're not not authorized to deviate from your mission. That would be treason. And your mission is to go to Warehouse 749921. You also know that reprogramming a scrub bot is treason. And if you're seen riding a scrub bot, you would all be <laughs> <laughs> committing an act of treason. And you also know that losing the boxes is an act of treason. So oh, this, is, this is wonderful. You do know that you can't- It's a win, win, win. You more than likely can't take the conduit because you'll be seen by everybody. But there there are different places. I got all the inside scoop. So Alpha Complex has, uh, as you know, many maintenance corridors, garbage chutes, semi-forgotten tunnels that you could navigate through at unwise speeds <laughs> to follow where you think you want to go. Where do you want to go? Can, I, I know how to get there to the B57A... What's the... Whatever. I Trust me. I know where to go. That's what... Um, You're going to take us back routes, right? Because we can't be seen like this. Yeah. Obviously. Okay. You create... Are, are you, you sure these back routes are going to be safe? You Because it matters. And I, I cannot stand for it. But at this time, I can't handle any more stars. This is terrible. <sighs> Just go that way. At that point, something scrambles up on all of your screens again. Troubleshooters, somebody you don't you don't recognize. Troubleshooters, you've got some explaining to do. We've just stopped a bunch of auto trucks full of office supplies. And it's not full of you. It says here on the manifest there are a troubleshooter team that's supposed to escort and it's and you're not here. You wanna explain this? This is internal security, checkpoint A34. Well, internal security, we are hot on the trail and we will be there momentarily i assure you hot on how are you going to get here we have um we, we have we've we've come across some alternative transportation and i expect that we'll catch up in no time not being with your auto trucks is an act of treason we'd like you to come as soon as possible we're going to slap some information out of you <laughs> yes yes absolutely but I, I assume we should still try and escort the trucks for the remainder of the trip and then report there afterwards. There's also an audit bot here. That's not on the list. An audit bot? An audit bot and, and you hear him talk to somebody, and a repair bot. It looks like it's been repurposed. 
Uh, wh where are these? Checkpoint A34, where you should be. Well, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure about that. Nothing around here has been working properly. The auto truck took off without us. We've been hoofing it this whole time. There's, there's no problem with any of the bots. Bots all work flawlessly. Of course I do. Of course I work flawlessly. You see him talk we, to we some other guy. We wouldn't question that. You see him, he go. He, he looks at his list and he says, "Throbby." <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say for yourselves? Should we go ahead and put in a termination request? No. 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 Yes, no. You, no. You no. 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 Put no. The, all the blame squarely on that's what's shoulders. Look at her. Look at them. Three mm. stars. Three treason stars already. I don't. I can't believe we're being forced to work with someone like this. Listen, Can, I can get you to checkpoint 834. I can get you there. We can be there so quickly. You better get here quick. Let me tell you this. The trucks are in the wrong place. That's a problem. And we don't like problems. And the screen goes blank. Which person am I more scared of? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Obviously, this repair bot has been repurposed into a, cur a murder bot. Or a truck of stealing bot. Of course, TR doesn't know that. Or a truck stealing bot, maybe. So, John, um... Yeah? With these two different directions of where to go... Yeah? Um, from that's what's point of view, what does she feel like is most loyal to the computer? Is there a way to, like, like roll for that, or, like... Your, your, uh, your task as a troubleshooter was to take the boxes to the warehouse. Okay, so she would be loyal to going back to this checkpoint. Uh, it would be treason to not take the boxes to the warehouse. Our goal right now is to get to the warehouse. Get us to the warehouse. Is this checkpoint, do we know the location of this checkpoint? And is it on, like, are, are these trucks following the path that... You, you don't know where the checkpoint is because it's been blocked out. But you do know the three locations that you found on the map that are the warehouse, which you were going to go to and the road that went to the warehouse where you were supposed to go because you were authorized to see that. But the auto trucks are going a different direction. They're going on the, whatever I said, the B1, the B5, the B578, which is the opposite direction of the warehouse. And the closest thing you can see the B578 goes to is the original, or the barracks 4XAF. Oh, I did not catch that at all. So they're going the opposite direction that they should be. Yeah, somewhere between where you are now and the barracks, you assume, is the way the road goes. Oh, okay. The B so this checkpoint is way out of the way. Probably. Like it uh, the be checkpoint out of the way. is, I mean, there's checkpoints all over the place. Right. You don't know exactly where that is. We don't know where is. this checkpoint is, but what, what we do know is that the trucks are headed in the wrong direction, and it's the direction yeah. of this. The barracks, where everything came from originally. Right, where the explosion Which is was. destroyed, yeah. You guys could ask me for a roll to see if you could sort of figure out where this checkpoint might be based on how long it's been and about where you think the, the barracks might be located. Things like that. You sort of, you have to sort of tell me what you want to. Oh, I have a five, and you won't just give it to me? Okay. <laughs> what? You have a five? Five? Yeah. She wants you to just give her all the information. Yeah. I'll roll for it. Yeah, roll for it. I, I keep That's trying what? to steer can. So what does the five mean again? I You get to use five die. Die? So, yeah, if you have a five, you're going to do alpha complex? Yeah. Okay, so we need to pick a stat and a skill. So alpha complex is your skill. And how about... Uh, makes sense to me would be brains so let's use i got zero brains, brains. alpha complex so you have your violence is three brains is zero hoods button mechanics one so that'll give you uh, a total of six or no sorry five because you have a zero brains plus a computer die plus the computer okay, die. five die plus a computer die That's and one. your your difficulty is going to be a three because you really don't have a lot of information between here and there. That would be two fives and a six. Woo! It does it. So you sort of look at uh, the map and you go, hey, I think, I know we can't travel down the, uh, the main thoroughfare there because, of course, we'll be shot, but I think I know a way if we go down through these side tunnels and there's an elevator shaft that I know of that might take us down another pathway that... I'm not exactly sure where it's going to take us, but I think it's going to get us close to where I think the barracks are. That's what you know. 
I say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. And I start step on it, can start steering as best I can. So it's a little rough at the beginning, as you start moving the controls around. You start shaking, and everybody sort of has to get their bearings to, to be able to where know where to grab where it would be safe. Every once in a while, I give a little jerk of the wheel, just to kind of keep them on their toes. Okay. So you, you start heading down the, uh, the and I, now remember these are like the main tubes or are, are like traffic areas for for things to travel down at, at higher rates of speed, but uh, the rest are like corridors. You could think of it like there's areas that look like the mall where you'd be in big open hallways, and then what you guys are doing is you're going down to sort of underground tunnels more, uh, maybe 10 foot wide with boxes and things on both sides. And you're, you're sort of taking your forklift-like thing and going at a, a little bit higher rate of speed than what you would think would be safe uh, traveling through there. So there's people that could be walking around, and you might have to be pretty careful on being able to stop and go and, and turn on this uh, rickety, overly uh, unsafe scrub bot. I don't know if we need to really stop or turn for people to get in the way. <laughs> just yell, get I was going to say, should we all just be holding our blasters out and trying to kill anybody? A drive-by as we see to cover up. <laughs> cover up what we're doing. Us riding on this damn thing. I mean, Tell me what you're going to do. We you, probably you, should. Should we, should we actually do I, that? Okay. I feel like I'm, mm, I don't really want to do that. Okay, so uh, to be we, have, uh, we have, that's what is in the back in the basket, and she could hold on with one hand and easily shoot with the other. The other two of you are holding on to the basket with one hand and to the leg of um, can with the other. So if you wanted to shoot, <laughs> okay. you would have to take, one of you would, I mean, could still shoot if you, the other one stayed uh, holding on to the can's leg. Or, you know, can might have to figure out a way to hang on herself. I would like to try and shoot anyone who I think might might notice what we're doing and report us. Definitely. Okay. So at first you, you take off and you go down this, immediately turn into this side tunnel and um, go down a long pathway that, that leads down. And uh, it doesn't look like there's a lot of people. It's pretty dark, actually. Um, so I need you um, to do a can. I need you to give me uh, operate and... Um, how about mechanics check? You um, we describe it. It's it's very dark and there's a lot of boxes down in this pathway. So if you uh, you need to have at least a three success to be able to not run into stuff. Okay, it's six dice. You know what we could use here, Can? It's some of the, those wonderful night cycle vision goggles. We have no trouble getting down this corridor. <laughs> very. This dark. would be nice, but I think I got this. I got a six and two fives. Awesome. So right. you you screw down through there and and uh, you're you know going back and forth a little bit. Uh, a guy walks out and uh, of a side tunnel and um, Throbby as he leans back he, he pushes him against the wall, knocking him down. Uh, you continue to move on, narrowly missing boxes, and eventually you come to more of an open uh, area where you can see people walking around, giving you sort of a weird look here and there as the scrub bot zooms by them and some of them are you know they give a second look so who knows what they're thinking you said i could shoot easily from the back but that's what's not going to shoot unless shot upon okay no nobody seems to be shooting at you uh you're sort of down you know that down in the in the underground area of 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 alpha complex is sort of more the shadier type of people that probably are maybe not necessarily on the up and up either they're all hopped up on brown liquid yeah. <laughs> enjoying that sea level food yeah below sea level <laughs> do, you, do you want me to make a roll to try and shoot uh, anyone we we come across who might be why are you gonna shoot people that aren't okay? <laughs> <laughs> i mean it could be reporting you you are Roy, of course fire fire yeah they gotta catch me <laughs> yes, we, we Something's we on fire? Have, What's on fire? Where's can, the fire? We, we cannot the fire? have the computer um, know that we are doing this. Shh, as much don't as I hate say it. his name. Well, it's fine. It's fine. It's name. I will look after any eyewitnesses. Don't make me call him for shooting innocent people. Wait, 
but don't call We're him right now. We're riding a scrub bike. <laughs> <laughs> That's what. If you need to, just look away. <gasps> look away. I look away. <laughs> Okay, so there are there are people around. There are people walking around with their hot brown liquids, and there you know there's a little um, as you go by a little makeshift uh, uh, street cafeteria, and you see people that corn are dogs. you know, yeah. There's there's a corn dog stand. Seafood on a stick. Yeah, and uh, so there's plenty of people to, to to take out, but they're also all watching you as as you're barrowing through this these crowds. And yeah, if, I, d- like, I don't like the fact that they're watching us. That's a lot of people to murder. <laughs> one one laser blast at a time, buddy. <laughs> Roy R. Biv ain't gonna get to G himself. <laughs> Just straight up G. Okay, I, I'd like to take uh, I'd like to take out as many people as I can. Okay, so you gotta sort of check the area. If somebody looks like they're maybe not necessarily liking what you're doing, you want to try to take, take yeah, them Yeah, I, I think I focus on the people who are closest, who are going to be able to most easily identify us, like get a good look at our faces. Okay, I will let you shoot. About with guns the, and violence. Guns and violence, right down the line. We'll do that. All right. Pew, pew. What you got? Uh, you're going you're gonna to need, it's a little bit difficult, but I'm going to say a two. It's just going to be quite hard. Ooh, that's not a good what, face. What are successes again? <laughs> Fives and sixes. Uh, <laughs> sorry. So what'd you roll? Just bear with me here. I just love seeing your... <laughs> you fail. <laughs> what the what great was that joys? other card I picked up? Risky trick. Oh, yeah. I'm going with risky trick. I'm going to use risky trick. Okay. Oh, dear. So I describe how the action becomes dangerous, and I get plus two dice. And for every one that I roll um, on a non-computer dice, I take one. Uh, I take one severity of wound. So on a one, I'm hurt. On a two, I'm injured. So on. Oh dear. So tell me, tell me how you're gonna do this. You're you're hanging on the side. You're hang, you got one arm on can, and you got the other arm so on I your cooked. basket. You're gonna let go a can. I'm gonna let go a can, and I'm I'm probably going to slightly fall off and and bounce along the side, and you know my feet might be, I might be kind of trying to run on the ground as with my feet, um, you know, taking a step and and trying to sort of jump to keep up with the speed of, of this cart that's barreling along. Not the wisest thing I've ever done, but I'm I don't have much of a choice really. I just don't. Uh. <laughs> All right. I have two successes, thanks to that extra two die that I rolled. <laughs> and I have one one uh, altogether. So I take a wound. You will take a wound, and your risky card is now gone. Yes. So you, you, do, you do spot a guy that looks like um, he might be uh, accessing something to report you guys. And as you, you sort of whip your gun out, grab on and, and as you sort of hit the ground you're, you're still going pretty fast you're still going 25 30 mile an hour so your foot hits and then your other foot wobbles and sort of hits again uh, if you've ever seen somebody jump out of a car and it, they think they can run that fast but they really can't so they only hit two or three times before they they start rolling but you manage to hang on to the basket and you shoot the guy <laughs> right in the head next to it. he's holding his son's hand it's terrible sight, but but you take him out. He's and like, he looks, Daddy? Yeah. He looks, Daddy! <laughs> there aren't any kids here. Don't do that. We need to put, like, a disclaimer it's on this. Patron, patrons only. He didn't say how old the kid, how old the son was. No. He's like 19. He's, and, he's like 19. He's like, Daddy. He was 23, and the other guy was a no. lot older. He was my age, the guy you shot in the head. <laughs> oh my gosh. So an alpha complex. Uh, he was about to die soon. Anyway. He, he was going to die anyway. Life. He was just doing him a favor. He was a six. <laughs> he was a six. He, it was almost too late for him anyway. You did him a favor, really. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, so gosh. you take him out. Uh, your your shoe comes off and and slides uh, out behind the, the scrub bots and the scrub bots wake as you're, as you're still bearing through. And I need another uh, roll from uh, Can. Uh, to be able to keep things um, from crashing into any other people or a wall or anything else. What do you want? Uh, we're going to do operate and uh, mechanics. Okay, that's six dice. 
Yeah, but it's going to be a little more difficult this time because now you're sliding around on the top now that Roy's let go of your leg. Uh, so this is going to be a four. Uh-oh. Oh, guess how many successes I got? Four? Z zero? One. Oh, no. Oh, Roy. Oh, Roy. Roy, what are what you doing you back there? Okay, so Roy, he, he maintains, he stays on the side of the basket, gets his, his hand on the other one, so he's sort of dragging along the, the back basket. And as you do this, uh, you sort of slides over to miss a box. Your uh, right leg slay, uh, goes over and, and hits um, Throbby, who's holding your left leg, and sort of he loses his balance. The control that you have, you don't have enough wire to be able to make it all the way to your hand. So it slides out, falls over to the other side of the scrub bot, and is uh, scraping against the ground as you barely hold on to the top. And you're bar bar barreling through. Uh, there's a small hallway about five foot wide up ahead, and on both sides is a solid wall with boxes. <laughs> no. Roy, what are How you doing? are we? Steady me, steady me. And, uh, you know, that's what you, you're in the back of the basket, standing up and seeing all this happen as, uh, as yeah, what do you well, want to do? Since I'm, like, station wagoning it and <laughs> yeah. facing the other way. You're in the rumble seat, yeah. <laughs> I love, like, looking out the back seat. Anyway. Are you, are you turning, looking, all right, did you want to look out the back or are you looking forward? Oh, I thought I was looking, like, backward like oh you tell yeah. me you had you had turned away right because i was gonna do a deed you didn't want to see i turned away i was only gonna shoot a shot upon and i was like facing like i'm looking out the back window in my mind i guess so i don't know that we're coming up on this wall yeah yeah what you see <laughs> is you see roy you see roy hanging on the side of the basket with a gun in his hand as as you go by you look back and you see a a, a guy fall to the ground dead and and his uh, older son uh, is, uh, oh my God, what happened, Dad? Okay, so I saw Roy shoot then. I did see that. Mm. Uh, you heard the shot, and you see the remnants of the body. Yeah, as we move as past you, them. Yeah, and you hear all the stuff behind you, uh, you know, ow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, crap. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I mean, you also see the, the controls that you knew that um, Can had in her hand sort of beating dangling. along the side of the, the truck there. I see the controls dangling, and I try to grab them. What do you want to use? Let's go. Hmm. My, My brains. feet. I've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ambidextrous with my feet. I'd say that <laughs> move is a chutzpah stat, because it's like, whoa. And um, let's say athletics, maybe? I'm good with it, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. So that's five dice for me. So so what are you going to, before you roll, tell me what you're trying to do. Describe to me what you're doing. So, like, I'm having a hard time picturing this vehicle, but you make it sound like the controls are on wires dangling. Think, think of it like a circuit board that's attached yeah, like and she sort of came up with buttons. Old did. school Nintendo game where it's like a dangling controller type. Yeah. There's a yeah, cord. Okay. So, um, I want to like, I don't know, I want to like lean over the basket and like, like, how do you say this? Like, hook your feet around the edge and then like extend my arm out and try to grab it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I think so. You you want to try to like flop and ride it like a horse, the side of the basket here. So you yes, one leg over, one yeah yeah yeah. Let's do that. Well, that's uh, better. You can you can even get better <laughs> leverage if you put your foot on to Roy, who's hanging there on the side of the basket. <laughs> that, I don't matter of fact, to it's, that. it's 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 going to be about a three difficulty. But if you stand somewhat on Roy. It's really only going to be a one difficulty. Is it going to be Roy's face? Because I would very you tell much. tell me. I would very much stand on Roy's face, but I don't. Or Nads, but I don't. Or finger. You know what? I'll step on Roy. It's fine. <laughs> so, so you going for the face? The the Nads or the fingers? Uh, paint, finger. paint me a picture. Okay. Let's, I step on Roy's fingers. All right, you step on Roy's fingers and you try to reach leverage. out. 
yeah, to grab the Yeah, and try to control. reach over. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So you need you need one success. How many dice are you rolling? I've got five. Wow. And then a computer die. What is the com- Absolutely. Always okay. use roll a computer die. The computer die only if you roll a six. I rolled four, four, five, six, five. Did the computer die have a six on it? It's a four. Okay. You had plenty of successes. Yeah. You stand on it, you reach out. And you grab onto the wires as they're flopping, and you pull it back. Now you still have to sort of ride this basket because the the uh, the wires are not quite long enough for you to get back into the basket completely. Okay. But you can somewhat control it. Now, Roy, I need you to uh, explain to me how you're not going to be pushed off of this uh, with, with your fingers are being crushed. Yeah. So I think I think Roy is going to. He's already got one injured foot, but with his with his good foot, he's, he's gonna try and just time it so that while the ground is rushing along, he can you know put the foot down and, and try and sort of get a bit of oomph and propel himself upward so he can get both hands back on to this thing. And hopefully <laughs> with both hands on he can pull himself up. <laughs> I thought for a second you were going to Flintstone it and try to stop us, but... (laughs) (laughs) I think that's a good way for Roy to lose both of his feet. (laughs) If you don't get back in the basket soon, you are going to probably be taken out by the wall if you do make it into the tunnel. (laughs) Yeah, I think Roy sees the upcoming situation that we're about to run into and is thinking, this is bad. I need to get back in somehow. I do think that in grabbing the controls, I see the situation now. Just for everyone to know. So, so Roy, uh, I hope you so. you know this you know yeah. this foot on your hand was very intentional. Yeah. Are you trying to just get back into the basket, or are you trying to retaliate with uh, with this person? For the just time being, I'm in I'm in self self preservation mode. So was I. I didn't do it on purpose. Yeah. Come on. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so, um, do you want me to do an athletics and hutzpah? To time this, to time this ground kick. You know, you know what? I, I think that's that's fair enough. Fair enough. Let's do that. Okay. Let's see. Which are my luckiest dice? And it's difficulty level of one, I would assume. <laughs> uh, this is going to be. So, just to give you some indication of these uh, difficulty levels, one would be just a bit of effort. Two is quite hard. Three difficult. Four very hard. Five hard for an expert, and six, beyond human capability. Yes, six. So we're going we're gonna to go, we're gonna go with a, so I'm, I'm picturing this in my mind. You're dragging, you're, you lost a shoe. You're dragging on the ground. You look up, you see there's a wall coming towards you. So you, and your hand is being crushed. Uh, you have a gun in the other hand. So you're going to have to put this gun away. <laughs> Swing your arm up, grab onto it while your hand's being crushed, and push yourself up into the basket, hopefully using your shoed foot so you don't just tear your your other foot clean. Um, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a, a, a three. I think that's gonna be a difficult challenge. Do you think that's fair? Four. <laughs> I do think you get uh, lucky. Unless you just maybe unless maybe you just like drop, like toss the gun and not worry about keeping it. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to do something, uh, describe something to me that might give me, allow you to have an extra die or give you a lower difficulty. Yeah, you got a mutant there... power there you want to use, buddy? Can I uh, maneuver my leg over to the side so that it'd be easier for him to grab or something? You're on the other oh, side of the okay. You're with me, yeah. I think you and I are on the side of this thing. So, yeah, I mean, in this game, you, you guys tell me I'm going to manipulate the die space on how well you convince me that you're going to do something well. Bill's really good at convincing. So take your time. You might have some equipment. You might have a... Podcasters uh, can't see my face. A power of some kind that might help. That's definitely why he's in a pact with Isabella, you know? He's so good at getting out of <laughs> tricky situations. Oh, boy. I'm going to die. Sticky <laughs> widget. Use your mutant powers. And while you're thinking about that, Throbby and Can, you, you have another uh, situation coming up quick quickly to uh, well, a wall. Well, I know exactly what I want to do. Roy? I can't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then it's going to be a three. Give it a give it a uh, go. Well, I'm rolling two dice, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You know, uh, well, 
we just had uh, that's what leave, but if she comes back, she could offer help. That's true. I mean, I would say, you know, maybe, <laughs> do, and I will won't. put words in her mouth since she's not here right now, but maybe not stepping on your hand might give you a little bit of a benefit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, she must not be that far from me. No, she's, if you picture, picture a, a basket, let's say a, uh, like a, a, one of those mini soccer goals flipped upside down, right? Yeah. It's this little basket in the back. And she reached over the side out to grab the controls. You're hanging on the side. You had one hand on the basket and one hand on uh, um, Can's leg. You let go of the one on her leg, took your gun out, shot, fell. You're sort of dragging yeah. on the side of that basket. And then she came up and put her foot on your only hand that had was hanging onto the basket. Huh. So you're gonna have to put your gun away. Right. Take your other hand and somehow spin up to the basket and then push off the ground at uh, about a 25, 30 mile an hour to jump back up into that basket before you uh, potentially barrel into this wall. So if she was to stop crushing your hand and maybe even take her spare hand and grab you, she could give you some help. <laughs> but you'd have, to, you'd have to convince her of that relatively quickly. Yes, yes. I think I'm going to appeal to her, her humanity and... <gasps> We're not humans. We're drones. Her Appeal to her dronamity. Clonidity? Clones, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a, an STD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm surveying the situation like in a split second here before I'm about to do this and realizing that it, based on my my physical abilities, it's very unlikely that I'm getting back in this basket. Some might say impossible. Some might. <laughs> <laughs> to get three successes on two dice. Yeah, that's, that's a tall order. That's what... It, I need some help. There's no way I'm getting back in this thing. Can, can you reach down? Can you pull me up? I, please. I'm, gonna, I'm about to get squished. Can I or will I? Well, I mean, I, I feel like yeah, that's semantics, but... <laughs> okay, there's no more time to have a conversation. You have to decide right now. Um. Too long. Roll your three dice. <laughs> two dice. You or two mean, dice. Roll my two dice. <laughs> roll your two dice. Well, that's two ones. So. Uh... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Should I have rolled a computer die with that as well? Always. Yes. Always. You always roll. Always roll a computer die. Uh oh. Did you roll a six? Did you roll a six? six? Oh, I did. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. oh, you lose the hand. Bye. Oh, so that that costs you moxie. You do use a point of moxie for that. Every time. Oh man. That yeah. Whenever sucks. the computer summoned, it, it eats up moxie. <gasps> the computer summoned on a six. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What? Yeah. On a on the computer die. On. I took too long to decide, and I'm sorry. Yeah. Thanks. So my fault. so you you try you try to. Put your gun in the holster. You you can't. You're yelling, hey, please, please help me. And your gun falls from your hand. You quickly tried to grab onto the basket, which uh, you almost, almost grab onto the basket. You think you're going to get it when suddenly up on your computer display is, hi, friend. Hey, looks like things are going well. Oh, hey. Thought you might like to take a survey. <laughs> hey, let's tell us about your favorite flavor of bouncy beverage. There's orange, there's cherry, orange cherry, vanilla, orange, as you fall and hit the ground and roll <laughs> up, knocking out people along the way uh, off very angrily, and the, the scrub bot continues on. I'm recording. They're sucking, they're strapping on. Bill, uh... I'm recording already. One, two, three. Mumble, baby, eat my M and M's. Do re mi fa so la ti re do. Mumble, baby, eat my M and M's. Do re mi fa so la ti re do. Do re mi fa so la ti re do. Do 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 do. Re mi 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 fa la. Dear God.
Okay. <laughs> Ready? Let's count, let's count it down. Activate Here we go. Everyone good? Three. Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one. No, please, not multiple claps. There was one part of the one part of the pep shop where Lena clapped like seventeen times in the middle of the fucking thing. <laughs> Just remember, my real clap is after those claps. <laughs> that that makes it it's easy. It's not this clap, but it's not this clap. Oh, but it shit. is this clap. Thank you. It's, it's, you know, so I remember never when clap number out. eight, <laughs> clap number eight for Elena, <laughs> clap number three for me. Just keep that in mind. Write that down. That's why I'm going to make orange today, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch me. <laughs>